You know, I moved to California in around November, December of 91. And the place was incredible. I mean, it was it was just a uh, it was like heaven. The weather was perfect every day. It hardly ever rained. Perfect sunshine, perfect skies. It was beautiful. It's an amazing place. You can go surfing and snow skiing in the same day. It's just an amazing place. I loved it. But I tell you, when I moved there in 91, I started noticing that the Americans were getting replaced. I mean, they were disappearing. Where were they going? I mean, it, they were just disappearing. And it seems to find out it was like cancer and all kind of things. It was just people were dying. But ladies and gentlemen, the imports just kept coming in. Chinese people, Philippine people, people from Iran, Iraq, I mean, Jordan, all over the place, just pouring in to California. And it's funny because I went to California in 1999. From 91 to 99, I went to a mall that I haven't been to in a long time. And I remember walking through the mall and it was just completely American people. And all of a sudden, within that eight years, it was all foreign people. I mean, I didn't even know where these people come from. You know, and after Hurricane Katrina, the same thing happened. I remember going out going, where are these people coming from? It's just like a whole, I mean, where are the people that we used to hang out with? It's like everybody disappeared and you never heard from them again. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's part of the eugenics. It's part of the genocide that's happening in America. We're being replaced. Now, from the information that I'm gathering, when I moved to California, it was one of the biggest mistakes I ever made. Because ladies and gentlemen, when they have a plethora of foreign people, there's a bunch of gang stalkers looking for human experiments. You know? They're selling human body parts and there's all kind, you know, drugs and there's all kind of businesses when you replace the uh, Christian Americans with foreign people. They change the society. Matter of fact, California is moving towards, listen to this, a whole new country. They're trying to separate themselves from the United States. So my theory is correct. Now what we had in California when I went there was a bunch of people targeting people. And the colleges were looking for some people to do an experiment called the Brain Initiative. So they sent a bunch of secret society agents to California to, 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 to look for people to do the Brain Initiative. And I was one of them. My daughter became one of them all the way in Louisiana. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, when they transform California to a foreign country, then all of a sudden the psychopaths decide to predator on the prey. Because obviously they don't care about foreign people, but hell, they don't care about Americans either because they chose 350,000 people for the brain initiative in the Gulf War Syndrome bullshit. Okay? You know, it's just like the witches. They make up names for some type of a disease. Gulf War Syndrome. What the hell is that? Never heard of it before. They just make it up. And it gives them an excuse to, to say all these people are nuts while they're doing human experiments on them. Hey, listen. The greatest way to do an experiment on somebody is to call them crazy. Oh, he's crazy. Let me... Let me let me feed him some poison and microwave him to death and, you know, stick a bunch of pills in his throat. He's crazy. 